Welcome to the supplemental piece of unit two, lesson number five. This is example four. So if you got to the worksheet and you were struggling with some of the more challenging questions, this is a supplemental fourth example from the lesson that you can work through or that I'll work through with you now as a way of um, uh, ironing out some of the kinks. So you're working the cash at a 7-Eleven and a customer's bill comes to $11.34. He gives you $15. How much change do you give him? Let's start by rounding our bill to the nearest nickel. Let's hit pause and do that now. Come on back once you've got it. Okay, first step, rounding to the nearest nickel. If we look at our hundredths spot, there's our four. Four is going to allow us to round up to the nearest nickel. We will go to $11.35. At this point, let's consider getting up to the next nearest 10 cents. So if you think you know what it is, let's pause, let's put it in now, and then you can come on back, we'll see how you did. Okay, we are going to go up from $11.35 to $11.40. The coins given back will be one nickel. That's how we get from $11.35 to $11.40. So let's hit pause here. We're going to go up to the next convenient amount of 50 cents. So let's pause. Let's write that piece in and the number of coins given back when you got it. Come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay. We are going to go from $11.40 to $11.50. And we do that by going up by one dime. Let's now try ne the next convenient amount to the nearest dollar. So let's hit pause, fill it in. When you've got it, come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, we're going to go from $11.50 up to $12. And we do this by going up by two quarters. Last but not least, Let's see if we can get up to the final amount. I'll hit, let's hit pause here and come on back when you think you've got it. Okay, made it up to $12. The customer gave us $15. How did we get from $12 to $15? That's one toonie and one loony for a total of $3 to get from $12 to $15. Let's look back at the total change given. That is, it'll take a second to write it out, one nickel plus one dime plus two quarters plus one loony plus one toony. Let's add those up now. If you're struggling to do this mentally, a little trick is to underneath each coin that we've summarized here, let's write down its actual dollar value. So one toonie is worth two dollars, one loonie is worth one dollar, two quarters are worth zero point five dollars, one dime is worth zero point one dollars, and one nickel is worth zero point zero five dollars. And now we can see these, we've written them down, we can add them up together, $2 and $1, that's $3, 50 cents, 60 cents, 65 cents. So we've got $3 and 65 cents. And again, this is just a little way to get more information on the page if you're struggling with the addition. Uh, let's have a look at this last question now to finish this up. How would you adjust the coins you give back to the customer if you ran out of toonies? And this is this can happen if you're working the cash at a, at a restaurant or a store or a business. You're, you realize you need to give a customer back $3.65. It makes the most sense to give that customer a toonie and a loonie, but you're out of toonies. How can we make an adjustment for that? Hit pause, write down your idea, how you would fix this or how you would offset the fact that you don't have any toonies in your till. We'll see how you did. Okay. Now there's a number of different ways that you could solve this, but assuming you're just out of toonies, the easiest way to replace a toonie is with two loonies. So to replace a toonie, you could 
substitute two loonies. And again, when you're working at giving the correct change back to a customer, you want to be giving back the fewest number of coins possible, and this would certainly be the best way to do it, although there are other ways of doing it. This is the end now of Lesson 5. Best of luck with the worksheet, and best of luck with the summative activity for Unit 2, and we'll see you in Unit 3.